Hi, this is David from hologrind.com. Today we're going to be looking at the underwater test for the Navy SEAL Scarab. Uh, this one here is the Navy SEAL Scarab in the single edge, and this is what we're going to be comparing it to, a regular Scarab uh, with a double edge configuration. Uh, you can see on the regular Scarabs that there are no holes in the back of the handle, um, comparing that to the Navy SEAL Scarab that has the holes. Um, here are the two knives. This is the double edge that we're going to be comparing it to. Sorry, my camera skills are not that great. And then this is the Navy SEAL Scarabs. And as you can see, this has the holes in it. Our first test is going to be the underwater test of the regular Scarab, um, the non-Navy SEAL Scarab. So we're going to put that in the water, and we're going to let that fill up with water. You can see the bubble is coming up because it's filling with water. So now we have a scarab that is full of water. And we're going to try and fire it under water. It doesn't even come out all the way. This is as far as it's going to come out. You can see how much water is in the handle. Now we have the Navy SEAL scarab. Okay, we're going to try and fire this underwater. As you can see, it locks up no problem. And you can see the water draining out the handle. Instead of retracting underwater, it retracts no problem, water drains out. So there you have it, the Navy SEAL Scarab actually does what it is intended to do. And now you see that the regular scarabs do not fire underwater no matter what you've heard from the Microtech engineers that people claim that they've, they've spoken to. Uh, you can see here the difference. This is the double edge. This is the Navy Seal Scarab. The holes in the back do make a difference and the grooves in the blade do make a difference. So there you have it. I am that nuts that I sacrificed this scarab uh, to prove that this one actually does work. Um, so don't be afraid to actually use this underwater. Now I do have to flush these with fresh water and lubricate the knives uh, by putting lubrication in the uh, slide here and in the blade. And we tried it a couple of times just to make sure that it's, um, it's going to keep working. So there you have it, the underwater test for the Navy SEAL Scarab does actually do what it's supposed to. And I think that's really important when you're paying $600 for a knife. Um, if you have any questions, you can contact me at hologrind.com. Uh, or contact at hologrind.com is my email or hologrind.com is my website. Um, you can also get there by going to thehologrind.com. Thank you.